Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. Sorry, I am looking ratchet. I literally got off work, made dinner, and ran to Aldi before closing time. So I love to go to Aldi on a Tuesday night before closing time because generally speaking, they have the new stuff out for Wednesday. So I did go ahead and grab a couple of things at Aldi's. I did get the new Halloween candles, but I wanted to show you guys what else I picked up as well. I went ahead and if you guys watch me on the regular, you know I have two little dachshunds. And I went ahead and I did get them the pet costumes. So my little girl Trixie is going to be a bumblebee. Super cute, has a little stinger on it that's glitter, little glittery bumblebee wings, and then it has little antennas on it. These were $5.99, great price for a pet costume. My little boy Gunner, he's my brown boy, so I went ahead and I got him the lion costume. I think he will be adorable as a little lion. So I bought Trixie's in a size extra small. She's my very little petite dachshund girl. My little boy is a little bit on the chunky side, so I did go ahead and I bought his costume in a small, and he does have a dangling tail on it. I have a feeling that Trixie is gonna get jealous and chew the tail off of his costume. I will try to, no promises, try to put a picture of my dachshunds either on the little opening video um, photo or just try to input it in the video. So now let's go ahead and check out these candles. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to grab them out of the bag. First one we have here is Hocus Pocus. So just in time for the new release of the Hocus Pocus movie. Definitely if you guys watched it, let me know down below. We actually watched it on release night this past Friday and I liked it. I know there's a little bit of backlash, but I definitely, I thought it was on par with the first one. I was really happy with it. So Hocus Pocus, the scent description on this one is pumpkin, cranberry, and maple. Personally, if this wouldn't have had a scent description on it, which I'm happy to see that Aldi did print scent descriptions on these, I feel like I get a cream cheese smell. I feel like I get a cinnamon cream cheese smell, like a cinnamon bun with cream cheese icing with dried cranberries on top. This is a complex fragrance. I am very happy with this one. As always, you guys know at the end of the video, I will rate these from my least favorite to my most favorite. The next one we have here is Hey Bootiful. And it has some ghosts. I definitely, I think this one might be my favorite when it comes to labels. You got all the cute little ghosts. Some of them have witch hats on them. Some of them have bows on them. Super, super cute black background with bats on it. I love when they do these special packaging candles. Scent description on this one is caramelized sugar, pumpkin, and cinnamon. Okay, so I definitely get the caramel. It smells like, like a Werther's caramel candy mixed with that pumpkin. I don't get too much cinnamon, but like I get like a cinnamon spice pumpkin cake. It's not like red hot cinnamon. I like this more than I expected. I did not pick up a double of this one because in store I wasn't too crazy about it. I might have a little bit of buyer's remorse not getting a backup of that one. Then we have here Monster Mash. And it's green. We got Frankenstein over here and it looks like maybe some walking zombies on it. The scent description on this one is bakery, sage, and floral. And I seen in a candle group, somebody was posting these descriptions and I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about bakery mixed with a sage and floral. Sounds like an awkward combination. But I mean, you can definitely smell all that. You can smell the bakery. You can smell the sage. I don't really get the floral. I get the bakery and the sage. It's a weird combo, but it's definitely unique to where I like it. I'm, I'm digging Monster Mash. I definitely look forward to seeing how this one ends up performing. 
Then the last one in the collection is If You've Got It, Haunt It, and it is purple with a haunted house. For some reason, when I seen this collection advertised, I'm like, oh, we had that one last year. But luckily, these are all different fragrances compared to what we saw last year from Aldi. So if you got it, Haunt It is a blend of clove bud, bay leaf, and golden maple. So I will be transparent when I opened this one in the store. I told my husband, I'm like, oh my gosh, that smells like a porter pot. He's like, you're buying a candle that smells like a porter pot. You just stood there and said it smells like a porter pot and you're still buying it. I'm like, yeah, I have an obligation to YouTube to show all these candles. So you probably know where this one's going to land on my ratings already. And okay, so now that I have a home, it does not smell like a porter pot. This actually kind of smells like a Christmas candle, like a heavily pine scented Christmas candle. Most likely that's the like bay leaf and clove bud. The golden maple is not doing it any favors by any means. So, all right, let's go ahead and hop into these ratings. So in the fourth place spot, my least favorite could have easily left this on the shelf. Wasn't impressed because I'm not like a Christmas candle kind of person like pine scents. I don't like pine scents when it comes to Christmas scents. I like like cranberry and uh, I don't even like peppermint scents. I like cranberry. I like my bakery scents all through Christmas time. And I know this isn't a Christmas candle, that this is a Halloween candle, but it smells like a pine candle. I will be eager to burn this and get it out of my collection. You guys will probably end up seeing it in October empties. I did pull some of the Halloween fall candles from last year from Aldi that I'm going to go ahead and be burning this year. So you'll be seeing those in my empties for the month of October and most likely you will see this one because I just don't see any point in letting this linger around in my collection, especially when I just, I, I don't like it. All right, so number three, and the irony in this, is I did buy a double of this. I bought a double of it because I loved it in store. And now that I have it home, it's like, ah, yeah, I'll burn both of them, but I, I definitely didn't need a second one of it. So my number three spot is going to Monster Mash. In store, I really loved the bakery and sage, as a sage, yeah, bakery and sage blend. But now that I'm home, and that's one thing I always tell you guys, like in-store things smell so much different to me than when I get them home. So like I said, I bought two of this. I like the bakery note that I'm getting in this, and I like the dimension that the sage is adding to it. Like I said, very, very unique fragrance. I don't think I've smelled anything like this anywhere else. But do I think I needed two of it? No. Could have left the second one on the shelf. All right. In the number two spot, having buyer's remorse that I did not get doubles of this because in the store I did not like it as much. Now that I'm home, I like it more. I really like the Hey Beautiful. Not only because of the label, but the actual scent on this one. So once again, this one is caramelized sugar, pumpkin, and cinnamon. And oh, like I said, you get that Werther's Caramel, like that buttery caramel fragrance mixed with pumpkin. So yeah, I definitely have buyer's remorse not getting two of these. I don't think I'm going to go back in store to get a second one, even though I like a second one. My store did only get a limited amount of these. I think they only had like two boxes of them. So I'm really glad that I stopped on a Tuesday night. Because if I would have waited until after work tomorrow, they're, they're probably going to be gone. All right, so number one spot. Here we go. I did pick up a double of this, and that is Hocus Pocus. So I know I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video, but if you hung on this whole time, these candles are still $3.99 at Aldi. It's a great price point for a soy blend candle. But Hocus Pocus is my number one in the collection. I really like that. Like I said, you get that like cream cheese frosting over a cinnamon bun with dried cranberries. Like the cranberry is very predominant in here. 
with that cream cheese. Now it is absolutely phenomenal. I have a feeling that this is going to be a powerhouse. Now that I have it home, I kind of feel like I get a little bit of a, like a uh, spiced potpourri smell. Oh, I really like the cranberry in this one. I think it's a superstar. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Aldi Halloween candle collection. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.